This was this was just crazy. I hope we never have to do that again. to uh, lift out Fortuna. Mm. I'm actually super excited <laughs> and a little bit, maybe a lot scared. I don't know, I always feel strange to put a ship that is made actually for water on land, but yeah, let's see. We packed everything up as we're not going to be able to live on Fortuna for the next week while it is on dry, so we have to move to an apartment. Uh, we got everything on land and now we will have to wait that they put in the other boat that is currently at our spot and then it's going to be our turn. Super excited! Finally time! To get Fortuna safely out of the water we had to carry out perfectly three steps. Number one, place Fortuna in the exit ramp without scratching it. Number two, get Fortuna onto the trailer in the exact position it needs to be. Number three, take Fortuna and the trailer safely out of the water. This was, this was just crazy. I hope we never have to do that again. <laughs> oh my god! Our stuff is 
hard to see your boat fly and out in the dry. <laughs> really hurts. So back in the days when we started sailing, we were in a berth in Italy, Sardinia, and they had two short ropes and the wind was like 40 knots. There was a stone in the marina at the end, so the boat was pushed down with the heavy wind and the waves that occurred due to the 40 knots, and then we hit some rock most likely on the rudder. So we're gonna fix that and we're going to do the answer fouling. Fortuna was moved to her designated spot and we were ready to start with the work. Our first day here at the boatyard is coming to an end and uh, well, we're pretty happy. We see, we see some progress definitely in the, in the anti-fouling part, but we also managed to uh, clean the propellers and uh, start working on the rudder, which is currently our biggest question mark. Uh, we hopefully found the the layer now where there was water so now we can once it's dry we can start to rebuild it and yeah we're pretty happy now to go back to our apartment that we have rented here in uh, in Ziggy as we're currently not allowed to sleep on Fortuna so uh, we moved there now and uh, we'll call it a day <laughs> We are back at the boatyard and while the uh, sanding for the anti-fouling is almost done yes. we now are going to tackle the um, rudder problem that we have so we actually back in Sardinia we hit a stone with our rudder in a marina so a little piece split off so now we finally found the opportunity to fix that so we're actually going to apply new fiberglass to fill out the hose. So we are fiberglassing our rudder and basically cutting small uh, strips which we then attach and we are having some One and two, a few drops. 
the hardener. You think it was enough? <laughs> I don't know, I have I no idea. I see, this is a very, very, no precise, very precise, very precise. <laughs> oh, where is the mull? Yeah. Plastic bag. Please. So it's one on your left? Yes. Um. This is like super sticky. Yes, it was super sticky. What well, it would be staying sticky, so we went on painting and placing and 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 painting until we finally reach the desired Happy. form looks good <laughs> I have to admit, this definitely took longer than expected, but after only three hours of drying, it already looked pretty good. It still needed to be sanded down, but we decided that this would be definitely for another day. And this was it for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on all the boat work coming up in the next episode.